Welcome to the Orange County Library System. My name is Antoinette and this is Toddler Time Story Time. Toddler Time Story Time is our program especially designed to help you nurture your toddler's growing literacy skills. And there are many. We start out with fine motor or a language and then we do get up and move quite a bit. We put it all together. Most of all, we have fun. If you're having fun, you're doing it right. Let's start out with our American Sign Language Hello Song. Uh, American Sign Language is a wonderful way to help your little one as their literacy is growing, their words are growing, and they struggle to communicate what they're thinking. Uh, hello looks like this. It's kind of easy and fun, and please take the time to model what these signs look like for your little one up close. Hello. Hello. A little more repetition with our toddlers. Hello. This is Friends. Friends looks like this. Wonderful. It's time to say hello. Let's sing it. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Wonderful. Look at those smiles. How about open, shut them? We know that. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chinny, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, go, ah, new teeth. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, maybe more, but do not let them in. Wonderful. Pat a cake, pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's men. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. And there's a little more sign for baby. And pat a cake is a wonderful introduction to using uh, your child's five senses and that sense of touch to trace letters when you begin to introduce that to your little ones. How about Itsy Bitsy Spider? Let's start way down low. Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Wonderful. We are going to get our hands and uh, our bodies moving a little bit. We're going to take our hands and clap along like this. This is a little bit of body awareness and also a great way to establish patterning in language, which is something that your little one is starting to notice. I'll take my hands and go clap, 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 clap. I'll take my hands and go clap, clap, clap all day long. Let's try that again. Will you join in with me? Your little one may just be watching you enjoying these rhymes, and that's all right. They'll join in as we repeat. Uh, let's try it again. Ready? I'll take my hands and go clap, 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 clap. I'll take my hands and go clap, clap, clap all day long. There you go. I'll take my feet and go tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. I'll take my feet and go tap, tap, tap all day long. Let's do that one again. I'll take my feet and go tap, 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 tap. I'll take my feet and go tap, tap, tap all 
all day long. Where are your fingers? There they are, hold them up high. Let's sing. I'll take my fingers and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll take my fingers and go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all day long. Wonderful. We're going to go ahead and use a little bit more with our fingers and introduce the idea of counting. One, two, buckle my shoe. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, begin again. And that's our American Sign Language sign for again. Sometimes your little one may do more, and they're fine. They're both working. Let's do that again. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, now that is the end. <laughs> Terrific, great job and so much fun. It's time for us to introduce some new skills. We're going to keep on counting. This is the story of the five green and speckled frogs. Counting up and down is the beginning of early math and you'll build it as your child grows. Uh, your little one is expected to maybe count up to three but we're going to push it to five. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. And tuck in that thumb. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. One, two, three. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Let's count those two fingers. One, two. And your little one really might just be watching or they might be trying. Are you trying out there? I think so. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Let's get that one frog jumping. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. She jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub, the end. <laughs> Wonderful. And we can try that again and practice it one more time. Let's do it again just a little bit more quickly. Uh, but it's just to kind of show how the whole thing comes together. Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. You got it. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. 
One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. One, two, three. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. One, two. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. You did it! <laughs> Wonderful. Now, parents and grown-ups out there, you might have some things at home that you can use to find some colors. Maybe today you can do a scavenger hunt. Can you find something in your house that is purple? blue. Can you find green, yellow, orange, and red? Today I have gathered some things that I have that might also be useful. I've got these felt squares that are very, very easy to make. Maybe you've got some cloth around the house or some paper that you can use. So we're going to sing a song and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can practice this with what you have at home. So take a quick look around really quickly. Are you seeing some things that are colorful in your home that you can gather? This song sounds a little bit like the tune of Hush Little Baby, and it goes like this. Rainbow purple, rainbow blue, there's blue. Rainbow green and yellow too. Rainbow orange, rainbow red, rainbow smiling overhead. Do you think that you can make that shape with your little one and sing along with me? We'll go over those colors again. Here we go. Rainbow purple, rainbow blue, rainbow green and yellow too. Rainbow orange, rainbow red, rainbow smiling overhead. And we can add some of the American Sign Language colors. There's purple, the letter P that we shake a little. There's blue, the letter B that we shake a little. There's green, that's the letter G in American Sign Language finger spelling. And we shake it like that. Yellow looks like this, like that letter Y. Orange is a circle like that and we squeeze it as if we are having an orange. And there's red, red is like our lips, like that. Now I'd love to show you a way that you can use scarves or cloth or other things that you have at home and we'll sing the song again. Rainbow purple, do you have something like this? Or can you move your body with me? Just pretend that you have a scarf. Let's try to make that big circle. Rainbow purple, rainbow blue. That's right, a great big circle. Look at you go. <laughs> rainbow green, a great big green circle. And what comes next? That's right. Yellow to a great big yellow circle. Rainbow orange. Rainbow red. And then we're going to grab every color 
and put it together. And you can use both arms if you like with grown-ups. Give your little one a lift. Let's put it all together. Arms up. Rainbow smiling overhead. Yay! Wonderful. That's a great way for you to introduce colors, a new concept. And we will take away our colors. And it's time for Wheels on the Bus. We know that one. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. Wipers up! The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up, wee, and down, up, wee, and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town. The babies on the bus go The babies on the bus go all through the town. The grown-ups on the bus go shh, The grown-ups on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. That's wonderful. Now, one of the ways you can introduce new concepts to your toddler is to take a song or rhyme they love and know very well and do that one a few times. Add something new and then put something that they know very well on the other side of that, make a little sandwich in a way so that they have confidence and they're having fun. And uh, it just helps them to have that, that foundation of learning. Let's see if we can move our bodies a little bit more. Let's have some fun rolling our arms like we did with wheels on the bus. This is a story about a choo-choo train. It introduces opposites. Let's try it. Are you up on your feet? Let's do it. Here comes a choo-choo train running down the track. First, it's moving forward. Choo, 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 choo. Then it's moving back. Choo, 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 choo. The train is moving up the hill. And then it's moving down. What a lot of noise it makes all the way around. Choo-choo, choo-choo. Awesome job. <laughs> Wonderful. We're going to have some fun now with a song about um, being happy. Let's clap our hands. If you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Wonderful! Great fun. How about finding your ears? And can you swing your arms? This is a story about how your ears might hang low and you can move very slowly back and forth. Do 
your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Let's do that one again. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, we're going to have a little fun with our twinkling stars now. It's just about time for us to say goodbye, but let's get those twinkling stars up. This is a great way for your little one to be soothed and calm, and it also helps them to build their brain because going up and down the scale helps to build uh, those connections, and it's fun too. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> terrific, terrific. Can you do this? Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you till we meet again. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me. We'd love to hear your comments and help us with this new media of story time. Please check out OCLS.info for more information and resources to help your toddler grow. Mm -hmm.